Hey guys, this is Booligan with Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com, and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Today we're going to take a quick video look at a gun that I reviewed previously but haven't done a video on, the WE XDM, also known as the WE Extreme, and a various uh, list of other names to avoid issues with um, the real steel manufacturers. Um, this is a full metal gas blowback pistol available in two sizes, and I believe there's a third. Uh, uh, version coming out that's kind of like Ipsic uh, racing style. Um, this is the full size model, the uh, 4.5. They also have the 3.8, which is the compact model. Um, this gun is modeled after the uh, Springfield Armory XDM series, which is one of my favorite real steel pistol series, mainly because it is incredibly comfortable and easy to shoot. Um, thing just fits my hand very well. And the M series, which is which these are modeled after, have interchangeable back straps, a little bit different grip texturing than the standard XD models. So uh, you know you can really kind of tweak it to, to fit you know your shooting style and to fit your hand size. Um, let's go ahead and take a close, closer look at uh, some of the features of the WE XDM. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, external features of the WE XDM. First things that you'll notice are the uh, steep grip angle it's pretty similar to a 1911's grip angle versus a glock which comes off at more of an angle i personally like this grip some people don't but it fits my hand much better and my natural point of aim is much much better you also have a uh, safety grip safety at the back pretty easy to activate i mean it's, it gets caught by the web of your hand almost you know automatically um, you have a ambidextrous magazine release you just push it pops out the magazine and it's located on both sides so you don't have to switch it or fumble with it or anything like that the rest of your controls are pretty much all on this side you have a slide lock which operates pretty standard you have a takedown lever which we'll do a full disassembly in a little bit and the trigger has a uh, safety trigger system so you can't pull it first off you can't pull it without the uh, grip safety engaged and with the grip safety engaged you have to be right on top of it to activate the little safety trigger lever on the back, you'll notice this little silver protrusion. This is a carryover from the real gun, and it shows whether the gun is cocked or not. So, being that I just rack the slide, you'll see it goes in. And obviously, this is a uh, striker fired pistol, so it has to cycle for you to shoot again. On this side, you don't have too much in the way of controls, just you have the other side of the uh, magazine release. Um, you have 20 millimeter rail up front interchangeable back straps you have to tap out this pin and you can swap them out we also put a little safety right here you slide it turn safety on blocks the trigger i don't ever use it because you have two perfectly good safeties right there um, other than that you have white dot sights metal slide metal barrel standard we inner threading in the uh, outer barrel um, it does have this uh, loaded chamber indicator. However, it is always in the up position. It does not function. It's just a stylistic feature, regardless of whether there's a BB loaded or not. So not a perfect replica, but pretty damn near close. Um, let's go ahead and uh, disassemble the gun and see what we have inside. Okay, let's go ahead and disassemble the gun now. Um, so we've taken the magazine out and it is a pretty uh, faithful replica of the real gun's stainless steel magazine. It's not really stainless, but it looks like it and it's messing up my camera because it's so shiny, so we'll move it out of the way. How to disassemble this gun. Um, it's a toolless disassembly. Pull it back until this little semicircle is there, and then you just slide that lever up, and you're in business. Really is that easy. Your key lubrication points of this are obviously going to be the frame rails and the uh, striker, the hammer assembly. There's a ball bearing right there to keep it operating smoothly. Just make sure that it's well lubricated. Further disassembly of the slide. Um, you see your blowback chamber here and your uh, hop-up adjustment is a dial located right there. The rest of the gun is pretty easy to disassemble. You've got this pretty serious recoil spring in here. So you have to kind of pull it out. Look how long that thing is compared to most recoil springs. That thing's crazy. Pull out the inner and outer barrels like damn near every other gas blowback pistol. Um, you've got a pretty long inner barrel 
and it is uh, you know Marui compatible, so you can upgrade the barrel bucking, all of that stuff. Um, and then, like I said, your adjustment dial is right there inside the slide. Like I said your blowback assembly. Make sure to keep this area lubricated. Um, I like to use silicone on the blowback chambers, and then I like to use white lithium grease on the frame rails. That's what I do on my real guns. You can also see the mechanism that allows the uh, the striker indicator. Um, reassembly is basically the reverse of disassembly. Everything you have to kind of just make sure it lines up right the first time before you try to put it in. For the recoil spring, I like to bunch it up. That way it helps you clear that a little bit better. Then you simply slide it back on, pull that back, and flip the lever down. There you go. Sometimes you have to wiggle around the barrel before it will uh, lock, but there you go. You're good to go. Um, let's go ahead and uh, go outside and put a few rounds through it and see what the recoil is like. indicator all right we've seen a closer look at some of the external features of the gun we've taken a look at the internals of the gun and we've seen how it shoots let's talk about how much it'll cost you um, at the time of uh, the review this gun was priced right about a hundred bucks um, generally when you can find it it's about that same price between 100 and 120 bucks depending on the model that you get um, overall it's a great pistol has a great recoil the thing feels amazing shoots very well the velocity is a little low uh, only around 300 fps but that's fine for me for a sidearm just don't plan on running it as a primary you know in anything requiring you know really long engagement distances it replicates most of the features of the real steel gun really well and frankly looks good and it's different than the hordes of glocks in 1911 and stuff like that that's out there so um if you are interested in more information on this gun be sure to check out the full review on booliganairsoft.com and airsoft retreat and as always thanks for watching